Well, good morning, everybody. Today we are going to some hot springs here in Mammoth Lakes. It's about 5, 10 in the morning. So we've got about 20 more minutes till sunrise with clear skies behind us to the east. So these mountains off to the west should glow bright in pink at the first light of day. And wow, very chilly, but what a beautiful morning. I think there's gonna be some spectacular light. Even the moon is overhead. So I'm gonna head down the trail a little bit further, set up my 5DSR with a couple different compositions that I might like once the sunrise light starts over the mountains and uh, try to figure out which one I like the best so that when the light finally does start in about 20 or 30 minutes, all I have to do is grab the image. So the image that I have set up is focused on this S-curve in the creek coming down from one of the hot springs. A little bit of mist coming up. I wish there was more, but I think that this is probably my favorite view so far this morning. And I'm gonna try a couple different focal lengths to see if I can get the moon in, but I think it might be a little bit too high. So I'm not sure I'm gonna do more of a tighter crop to focus more on the stream in the mountains or zoomed a little bit further out to get the whole scene in. I'm at F10, focused in one third of the way into the scene. ISO 100 in about a fifth of a second time. So I'm gonna take a couple different exposures and see which one I prefer. After reviewing this image on my laptop, it felt like there was a little bit too much empty space in the field to the right side of the frame. I decided instead to crop this into a 2x1 vertical panorama, the mountains glowing on the top, and the stream as the main focal point winding through the center. I've made a few prints like this in the last year, and I think it'll look excellent framed in this aspect ratio. Okay, I did hike a little bit further down from the hot springs and I'm gonna try to cut the glare. And you can see I found one part of the creek where it's just sneaking through the field with a couple tufts of tall grass and a little bit of steam coming off of the top left part of this curve in the creek and the mountains are glowing in the background. I'm not sure if I like where I have to zoom out all the way to about 16 or 17 millimeters to get the moon, the top part of the frame. So I've cropped in a little bit closer to about 28 or 30 millimeters, really just focusing on the mountains on the horizon and the creek of hot water flowing through the open field. A couple different patches of tall grass here to add some extra interest. And I think that this will be a cool final image so I'm at F10, ISO 100, about a fifth of a second.
well, there was starting to be more and more people down near the hot springs. So I decided to let them have their peace and quiet. And I walked a little bit further up the trail and I found this cool salt flat area behind me with the mountains behind. Although I wasn't able to find an image that I liked. So thanks as always for watching. I look forward to seeing you again next time. Thank you.